Hello and welcome to a brand new week of home learning. We hope you've had a fantastic weekend and are ready to go for another week. Now we're going to start off with some more origami this morning. I've been so impressed with all of your folding and all of your designs over the past few weeks. We're going to be making a mouse today because a mouse is one of the characters from the smartest giant in town. But before we do that, I've got a short message from Miss Rachel because I heard it's somebody's special day in Oak Class. Hi everybody, sorry to interrupt Mr Cook's morning message. However, a little birdie has told me that it is Joshua's birthday in Oak Class. So, can we open up those windows and shout and sing from the top of our lungs a massive happy birthday? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Joshua. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hooray. Well done. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Yes, so a big happy birthday to you, Joshua. Have a wonderful day today. Let's get going now with some of our origami. So here we go, here's the things you need for today. As usual, a piece of paper, and it's gonna be really helpful today if you have a pencil and a ruler or anything straight that you can draw along. That's gonna really help us with some of our folds today. So to get started, we're gonna do what we normally do and make our A4 piece of paper into a square. And again, you can do that by folding this corner over like this and then removing this oblong. So do that now and we'll be ready to go. Great, so when you have your square, the first fold we're gonna do is very similar to one we've done before, is folding in like this and you're gonna take one of your edges and bring it so that it's parallel with this line here. So it's gonna look like this. So try and line this up as accurately as you can, but again, don't worry if it's not quite in line. And you're gonna do the same for the other side as well. So this side is gonna come in like that. Fantastic, so we should have this great kite shape from those first two folds. Next bit we need to do is we need to do the same again, but on the other side. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna fold it so that this edge becomes parallel with the line in the middle. So it's gonna look like this. And you'll notice these are sm slightly smaller, um, at least the little segment looks slightly smaller than the big segment we've made here. And once you've done one side, do the same again on the other side. So we're creating another point. We're gonna be folding in like that. Super, so you should have something that looks like that. Now it's important that you have this the right way around. So make sure that yours looks like mine and you have this shallow V facing that way with this point facing that way. That's gonna help you to uh, understand these next instructions. So carefully unfold the last two folds that you've made. It's important that we've made them, but for now we just need to unfold them out like that. This is where you're gonna to want to take your pencil and your ruler. What you're looking for is this corner here, these two bits here from those first folds that you made, this corner here. And what we're gonna to want to do is have a look at the last fold that we made, which was a line along here, and have a look at that corner that I just spoke about here and we want to draw a line from this corner where we've got the fold that we've just made meeting the edge and that corner I spoke about. So you want to create a line that looks like that. Okay, when you've done that, do the same on the other side. So this little flap here, draw yourself maybe just a little spot so you know where it is, and then have a look at this fold here where you've got that corner. You want to draw a line from your spot to that corner. 
fantastic. Now that we've got those lines, we need to create a fold along them. So watch how I do this. I'm going to open this back out and then along that line, I'm just going to start squeezing the paper together. And this, you might need someone to help you with this because this can be a bit more tricky than a usual fold. But if you just squeeze along that line, just go really gently and really slowly, you should start to create a fold just like that. And you can see what I did there was I pushed down the rest of that side. And so I've got, it's almost like a shark fin sticking up out of the piece of paper. And you're going to want to do the same on the other side. So that's the line that we drew. So I'm going to spin around so it's a bit easier to do. And you can see, look, I open it all out and then I'm going to start making a fold along there. It's easier if you start at this top bit, start squeezing it together and then you can work your way down the line, just gently creating the fold. And as you get more confident that your fold is in the right place, you can start squeezing together a bit more. And eventually, squeeze it all together. And so you'll have two, watch, just pushing that down. So now we've got two shark fins sticking out of our paper. So when you've got those two shark fins, you're gonna to want to spin your piece of paper around like this. And we're gonna take these shark fins and we're gonna push them down so they're facing towards the bottom. Now, we just need to work on one at a time so we can let that one ping back up. Watch what we're going to do here. This looks like an unusual fold, but it's actually quite a straightforward fold. What we're going to do is fold it so that it comes across into this side. So watch, we're going to bend it like that and you can see that we're creating a straight line across and it's going across the very middle of our entire piece of paper. Okay, so along this middle line. So fold one of them down and then we're going to fold it across like that. Okay, and when we've done that one, same again, we're going to fold this one down and then we're going to go across so that this line matches along the middle line. So there we go. Take it across just like that. And hopefully you'll find that you've got the fold there ready to go. The paper wants to do that fold. And you'll end up with this nice shallow V again facing this way. If you do get a bit lost on any of these, just go back a few steps and watch really carefully to make sure that your paper's looking exactly like mine. But fantastic if you've got this far, we should have a piece of paper looking like that with those two latest folds we've made just there. Okay, now that we've got that all ready to go, have a look which way the little arrow you've just made is pointing. It's pointing towards this end. And take the end that it's pointing towards this corner up here. And what we're gonna to want to do is fold it underneath like that. Now, it's a bit easier when you're doing this to actually just turn things over, but make sure you know which way it's folding. So take the corner and you're gonna fold it that way and then you can turn it over and make that fold. Now, you're gonna want it to come not all the way at the halfway line, probably about like that. So a fairly good gap between your middle point and your fold, but also a good bit folded across. Fold that down nice and tight, just like that. When you've done that, you're gonna to want to turn it back over. And we need to get rid of these corners. So again, this is a great time to get your ruler out so that you know exactly where we're going here. What we're going to want to do is draw a line from this little corner here right the way into the middle. Okay, so we can see the middle line along here. So we'll get that lined up and draw from that corner down into the middle. And then same on the other side like that. Fantastic, and by folding those backwards, that's gonna get rid of this corner here. So watch me do that. I'm gonna take that, fold it backwards along that line again. You can go really slowly, brilliant. And then this side as well, gonna go along that line. There we go. Fantastic. Now you'll be pleased to know that we're very almost finished. Now we've done that, what I want you to do is pick up 
your whole piece of paper and bend it in half like this. You've already made this fold, but if you bend it in half and fold it along, and you should start to see, oh, it gets trapped, just pull it up. You should start to see that we've got a shape like this and it's beginning to look a little bit like a mouse. So run your fingers along that middle fold to just make sure that you're all ready to go. So we've gone from that, folded it in half, and we've got something that looks like this. It's starting to look like a mouse. Next up, we need to make our mouse ears. And we're gonna do that by taking these little ear looking things up here and by folding them down a bit like this so that they're sticking out but not quite so much. So you're gonna to want to fold them probably along a line a little bit like that. And it doesn't matter if you're not exact, as long as your ears match. So fold that down a bit like that, and then turn over and see if you can get your ear to match. So we're just gonna fold it a little bit like that. There you go, it's matching with the other one. Brilliant, two little mouse ears. And what's great here is that if you push your finger inside those little bits, you can start to open them up a bit and they look properly like little mouse ears. So do the same on both sides, just open up that little pocket in there and just put your finger in and squash it down a little bit so that they look like two open mouse ears. Now we need to make our mouse's tail. So we're gonna fold I'm going to take this, and this is one of these slightly trickier folds, but we have done it before with the giraffe, so it's just like you did last week. You're going to fold that inside the middle pocket. Okay, so you need to press it in, like that, and you want it to be facing pretty much face down. So you're aiming for that, with your tail facing straight down. Don't worry, we're not finished with it yet, it's not going to be facing down in the end. And then you're going to do the same thing, but this time in the other direction. So take this bit of the tail and keeping the fold you've just made, fold it back up that way to make your little mouse tail. And there we have our final shape of the mouse. Let me show you how we can add a little bit of decoration to turn this shape into a great looking mouse. So you can use any colour here, but um, I've liked using either a pinky colour or a dark black colour. So first thing I'm going to add on is the mouse's nose. So what I'm going to do is just draw a bit of a semi-circle type thing up here. It's not quite a semi-circle, more of a, almost like a cone on the end with a nice rounded bit like that for the mouse's nose. And then I'm gonna add some whiskers by just drawing my pen back like that, almost like you're drawing a sun. And I want a little bit of an eye going on here, so I'm gonna draw my little mouse's eye there. And then what I really liked doing is actually um, coloring the ears a little bit. So this is great if you've got felt tip pens. And I've used a brown pen, and what I've done is just made these ears inside and outside lovely and brown. Great, and there we go. That's our mouse all finished. Now obviously you can do whatever design you like. You can keep it simple and you can keep it looking real, or you could do a funky pattern. I'll leave it up to you. But I hope you enjoyed it. We'll finish it there. But I really hope you enjoyed that project today. As usual, I can't wait to see all of the things you guys are going to make. I'm sure they're going to be brilliant. For now, have a fantastic week and I'll see you again soon.